What's up, everybody? It's your boy Shaga Williams, also known as Shag G. And uh, we're here with another MPC Renaissance uh, tutorial using the MPC Studio software. And this is Studio Software uh, version 1.8.7. That's 1.8.7. All right, let's just jump inside of here right now. But before we do, make sure you guys go subscribe. All right. So the purpose for this tutorial right here is... Uh, a lot of people once they use the MPC uh, studio software they don't know how to uh, export the tracks stems uh, export them to stem so you see right here if we have the hi-hat and we have uh, another closed hi-hat then we have the kick and the snare basically once you go in you go to file and then you go to export so if I went to export it would have all the sounds of everything that came inside this one program right here that was played on all these drum pads at one time so if you're kicking high hat your snare and you playing them all together they're all going to be on this one track and so when you export it it's actually going to give you a loop with everything all in one it won't actually give you the individual stems for them so to how to do that let's get out of there and what you want to do to actually get those is you want to come up to this button right here to the top uh and you're going to go to the second mixer up here where it says channel mixer and as you do that, let's go ahead and play the track. As you play the track, you're going to hear that everything is all on this one track. So all the sounds, all the drums, everything is all on this one track. So to go ahead and to um, export that the right way, we're going to highlight that track. You're going to solo it. And then what you want to do is you want to come up to the top right here where it says edit. Then you want to go down to where it says track and then you want to go to explode explode is what the terminology at the mpc studio likes to use uh for like export stems is what other programs and dolls use but in there they're called explode so we're going to hit explode and watch what happens see how i just generated and create all these other tracks now what you do is you take the solo off and then it's going to automatically make this mute button right here so now when we push play Every track is totally split. Every track is totally separate on here. So let's go ahead and stop this. So now to go ahead and export this out of here so you can bring it into your dolls as stems, you're gonna go up to this file button. You're gonna go to export and you're gonna go to audio mix down. When you bring up audio mix down, you're gonna go to this button right here, I mean to this selection right here and then where it says audio tail and then audio tail is basically so at the end of your loop if you have like a, a carrying on guitar or echo or delay or reverb something that carries on past your loop and you don't want it to cut off as your loop uh, loops back around then you'll create a um, you'll create a tail so it's one two three four five how many ever seconds you are for this particular beat I don't have one so I'm going to drop it down to zero and then here's the magic in the button right here. You're going to go right here to this button where it says ex explode, uh, explode track. So you're also going to explode it once again. But this time you're going to explode it and everything's going to be in separate tracks now. So we go right here down. You don't need to change any of these other settings. You go to export. And once you go to export, you come down here and you save your name. Save your name of your file. And then you want to go to find your destination where you want to put it at for the purpose of this tutorial. I'll go ahead and put it inside my desktop. Well, if I just go ahead and hit save right now, what's going to happen on my desktop is it's going to give me all separate files on my desktop to kick the snare, just loose files on my desktop. So to get a little control of that and manage it, what you want to do is you want to go to new folder and we'll just call this a uh, beat test. As we put this up there on beat test, we'll go ahead and hit OK. As you hit OK, you go ahead and hit save. And it's going to start exporting all your single sounds on there. This one has a lot of sounds on this one. So it takes a, actually it takes really, really, really fast. It takes only a second. So once you do that, you just go into the folder that you desti I mean the destination folder that you created and all your stems right there. And you just drag them into your session and there you have it. So I hope you liked the tutorial. And if so, then go ahead and definitely hit that subscribe button and leave me some likes, y'all. Anyway, that was enough. And now we're out of here. We're definitely out of here, y'all. Hey, so definitely make sure you leave some comments right there if you have a problem with what I said, if you have a, a, another easier way to go about it, or if you liked what I did. 
then definitely leave a comment and uh, once again subscribe.